They are called the Midlands, and they are one of Ireland's fastest growing regions. Fast as the farmers who need to keep up. People are looking at different ways of farming, um, different ways of producing food. I think the way climate is changing, farming also needs to change. We need to learn different ways of farming. This region, situated in the heart of the country, as its name suggests, has peatlands at the centre of its economy. Peatlands make over a fifth of Ireland's land mass, but the way they've been used so far is now becoming a problem for the environment. Peat is all carbon, and actually a healthy peatland is 98% water. So to do anything, you have to drain it, get the moisture down to 80, 85%. But of course, when you drain it, you expose that peat to oxygen and you get very high emissions to the air. You can have as many as 30 tonnes of CO2 per hectare per year released. So drying peat is the problem, making it wet fixes all of the problems. A unique pioneering European project is helping local farmers navigate this change, supporting the social and economic impact of the transition. It's called Peatlands for Prosperity, and it's transforming drained peat soils back into functional wet landscapes capable of agriculture, a practice known as paludiculture. Peatlands for Prosperity is basically just teaching people that there's numerous ways of producing products from peatlands. That's, that's the goal there. Also providing for biodiversity while producing something that you can use in the economy. From today's session, I've been considering maybe some bulrushes, which would be a crop that could be used by Thatchers, and I have an interest in that. Yeah, that's one plant. Uh, I will certainly read the literature that we got today and consider other plants as well. Peatlands for Prosperity is one element of a broader strategy aimed at securing the economic future of the Midlands. The €300,000 budget was jointly financed by the EU and the Irish government through the EU Just Transition Fund programme, an instrument under the European Cohesion Policy that has so far supported over 170 projects across the wider Midlands region. There's multiple projects that are going in tandem with this and what we're trying to do is we're trying to plant seeds so that the sustainability of these communities going forward are there and that they have the future here in the Midlands. Now the challenge is making a just transition possible, turning climate issues into opportunities for growth and prosperity.